Well, next week, law enforcement officers from across Colorado join forces at the state capitol to light the torch that will be the beacon of hope during next month's Special Olympics Colorado Summer Games in Grand Junction. As Denver 7's Shannon Ogden shows us, it's a day Special Olympians and officers both look forward to. It was really a moving moment <laughs> to be with the athletes, to be with, with all the officers. Jeff Starin is a Special Olympic golfer and bowler. These are three gold medals that I won in competing in Arizona. This year, Jeff's also going to be a runner in the Special Olympics Colorado Law Enforcement Torch Run. He's done it before. And have the camaraderie that was out there for, for everyone. And it really, it really gave me a, a lift. Raising more than $840,000 last year alone, the Law Enforcement Torch Run is the largest grassroots fundraiser for Special Olympics. It's a positive day where we get to do something with our athletes and our family members and the community. The Torch Run has been something Arapahoe County Deputy Brian McKnight's been looking forward to every year for more than 20 years. Seeing people as we run down the 16th Street Mall counting cadence and people just getting excited about the cause of Special Olympics. The officers take their job as guardians of the flame very seriously. The flame of hope for athletes to participate and be part of something bigger in their lives. It's a pretty big honor for law enforcement to be part of. And it's a big honor for the athletes to get to run alongside them. I'm not really training, but I'll, <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll be out there and I'll do the best that I can. More than 9,000 volunteers help make Special Olympics possible in Colorado. The Summer Games, one of the organization's biggest events of the year.